Earlier, we looked at creating a new document from scratch. But you don't need to start from scratch when creating a document. You can also create new documents using templates. You have Word templates stored on your computer, and you can also download new templates from Microsoft Office Online and other websites too. Let's dive straight in and create a new document based on a template now. We need to click on the File tab, New, and we can see a, a large selection of template categories like budgets, brochures and booklets in the main space, but we're just going to focus on the top options first. We've seen how to create a blank document um, earlier, and we did that by pressing Ctrl N on the keyboard. You can also do the same thing here by selecting Blank Document and clicking on Create. If you want to create a blog post, then that's the selection you need for that. Um, if you've used some templates in the past, then clicking on Recent Templates will show you a list of all the templates you've already used. And we can get back to where we were by clicking on the Back button, like so. Sample templates are the selection of templates that um, are included in Word 2010. My Templates displays a list of all the templates that you've created for yourself, and we're going to be looking at creating our own templates later. New from Existing takes an existing document and it creates a new Word document based on that. The most interesting area though is this bit down here which displays a list of template categories that come from Microsoft Office Online. If we select a category then we get to see all the templates within and if we select a template then we can see a small preview over here on the right. If we think that the template that we've selected meets our requirements then we can click on download and Word will open up a new document based on the template that we selected. We can then change the document to how we want it to look and then we can either save it or print it or do whatever we want with it. OK, let's close this document down and then File tab New will go into the Calendars category. And if we go into 2012 calendars, um, let's select that one, that one looks OK, click download. Here's our new document. Just imagine how long it would take you to design something like this. I'm guessing it would take more than a mere five minutes. And here we've created a new calendar for 2012 in a matter of seconds. Let's get rid of this one now and we'll go back into the calendar templates. This time we'll choose 2011 calendars and I just want to show you uh, this symbol here. Do you see the symbol in the bottom right hand corner that some of the uh, templates have got? These templates are templates that have been created and uploaded by members of the public like you and me. Templates that don't display that symbol are templates that have been created and provided by Microsoft. But this distinction that I'm making, um, it, it's not so important because you can download and use any of the templates that you see here. 